back to the Punches Chance YouTube channel. I'm delighted to be joined by two-time Welsh champion Tony Dixon. It's been 18 months since we've been in the ring. How did it feel to get back in there tonight? It felt great to get back in here. It's um, been a long time out. A lot of um, hard work I've been doing at the moment. We're stuck at work and family and stuff. So it's been a bit uh, difficult with uh, training, but I've been managed to do it. Um, it took us five to four weeks to win this. We managed to get really fit. And... Um, I just dedicated it myself to doing it, like, you know, I feel great. Yeah, it looked like you were really enjoying yourself. You had a big smile on your face and then yeah. uh, fighting against a tough opponent as well in Jordan Granham. Yeah. Had done 65 pro fights. Is that a bit of a confidence booster for you? Well, he's been very um, active. Like, like you said, I've had a long time out, so for me to try and get back in there straight away after it was been fighting numerous times this month alone. Um, you know they got the, they got the ring ability, so you can't go to sleep in here. But um, I think I boxed well tonight. I could have done. Don't get me wrong. I could have threw a lot more combos and stuff. But I knew this guy was a tough kid. You know he's been in there with the best. So I just wanted to keep him at distance and box and enjoy it. And I had a good night. And after a long time out of the ring, now a bit of time to process your career and think ahead. What are your sort of aims and ambitions now going forward? I just take every fight by fight, as you can see on my career. Like, you know, I, I just say yes, which really sometimes I should say no, like, you know, but, you know, I've fought them all, like, I mean, all the tough boys. You know, you look for my career and you'll see, like, you know. But they are, you know, they're, it's pro boxing and it? it's, it's, it's an hard game, like, for everyone, you know. You've got to dedicate yourself to it. But unfortunately, I've got to go to work to provide for my family, so... It's a bit harder for me, but I mean, they done it back in the olden days, didn't they? So that's what they were probably used to, like, you know. But this day and age, people give up work just to do this. But I'd love to, but I haven't got the, I haven't got the money behind me, unfortunately, like, you know. Yeah, it's obviously very difficult for fighters at this level having to work alongside training. Uh, you're a two time Welsh champion. Obviously, you went for a Celtic title, it didn't go your way on the night yeah. against someone who went on to win a compete at a European level. Yeah. Is a Celtic title in your mind in the future? Yeah, definitely. Just got to see how it goes now, mate. Do you know what I mean? Just play fight by fight, but uh, you know how it goes. It's, it's, hard. it's hard. It's an hard old game. <laughs> and there's some, well, Chris Sanagar, the promoter tonight, has uh, mentioned the BBC possibly featuring a show here down at the Vale Sports Arena in March. Will you be speaking to Chris about potentially trying to get on that card? Yeah, well, I've had two fights down here, two wins, so I might as well make it three, you know, when I... So, down here, like. And just 2025 now, is that just about trying to get active again, get in the ring as much as possible? Yeah, it's just keeping busy, you know, like, you know, it's like I just mentioned, like, work, I'm continuously working, with line plastering, like Shane James does a great job, you know, um, it's brilliant, like, we we work everywhere around, uh, around the country, really. And he's a great boss to have, like, so we have we have a good time in work. And we always have a laugh now. You know, he buys cakes and stuff and laughs at me when I can't eat them. <laughs> and then his son then decides to buy half a cream cake and leaves it in the fucking van. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, and then I got to stay at the old way home, man. Yeah, it's not helping with uh, the diet, no. No, definitely not helping <laughs> with the diet, but I didn't eat that cake and it's still here now. <laughs> well, oh. So, Dan, you can have that one back. <laughs> Well, hopefully we will see you back in action very soon. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us. And I just want to say a massive thank you as well to everybody around me, my missus, my family, and also Chris Arniga for promoting me and putting me on these shows, and also Pebbles and Shane Bay for all the training they put in for me. Um, I can't thank you enough, boys. Thank you very much. That's great. Congrats on tonight's win. Thank you. Cheers.